Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined today by Ashland native Allison Barnard, the CEO and owner of Terra Firma. Good to see you. Good to Thanks see for, you. Thanks for coming. Yeah. So you started your company, Terra Firma, and you developed this grab and go box. And mm -hmm. kind of show it to everybody here. Now, how did this whole thing come about? Well, uh, we live in central Oregon, where we're prone, as you guys are here, mm -hmm. uh, to wildfire. And my husband is an engineer on an oil tanker. So he's gone for six to eight weeks at a time. And right around the same time that I was starting to think about disaster preparedness because we had a big fire up near us in Bend, my father-in-law who wrote for the AP for 35 years, he was covering the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. So we were having conversations in our house regularly about sure. what if this happens? What are we gonna do with you guys down here, us in Central Oregon, family all over? And I got to thinking about how obviously we knew that we needed to prepare and we needed to take some steps toward doing that, but um, it was a difficult process. I didn't find anything publicly that was available to me to buy or use that made it as simple as possible, engaging, and um, walked me through the process in a way that actually kept me motivated to keep going. Mm. And so I decided that I probably needed to make something because so many of our friends and family, they knew they needed to be ready, yeah. but they weren't they hear getting prepared either. They two weeks of water, <laughs> canned food, these types right. of things. But essentially, it's a guidebook, is that fair to say? Yeah, so the way it works is everything comes in this small box and we put it here so that it's available whether you have power or not, whether you have internet service or not. It can stay with you at home or it can go with you. We did a few things. We made this, which is called the disaster deck. It's waterproof and it can live in your vehicle or go with you wherever you go. And it pretty much outlines every single disaster that can happen in the United States. And you can grab it and it tells you exactly what you need to do. Mm. And it includes a be well card in the beginning so that if things do get hairy, you can stay calm. You know the process for having to calm yourself down so that you can switch back into that analytical problem solving mode. Yeah, difficult to do when obviously if, if you're busting this thing out, something wrong is going on. Yeah, in exactly. Yeah. So that's the first thing that we give. The second thing that we give is called the Terra Firma Guidebook. And this walks people through everything that they need to know that they need to do um, before an event ever happens, including every disaster that you're regionally susceptible to, sure. how to prepare your family, loved ones, elderly, dis disabled, uh, we just walk you through everything that needs to happen ahead of time so that you're as resilient as possible. Okay, and I, I want to ask you about action plans. We, we got to take a first a quick commercial break, so stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Allison Barnard, the CEO and owner of Terra Firma. So you guys have developed this grab-and-go box. You're, you're selling this product. I don't want to mis yeah. mis uh, you know, mislead people, but how did, yeah. you, how did you vet it? So we did this a few ways. We first had a, an advisory board that we put together and that included the Director of Resilience from U of O and some emergency responders. Um, one of the first things that we did is we reached out to emergency managers in certain regions around the country, but also disaster experts and first responders. And we said to them, what are things that people think that are inaccurate and are a disservice to them to know? And through that, we learned a ton there was one perfect example is if you're evacuating your house, I didn't know that if there's a wildfire coming that I should have every vehicle out of my driveway, not just the one that I'm leaving in, so that they can get a fire truck as close as possible to the house. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. These are fascinating little tidbits that these yeah. experts know, but it's not pushed out regionally as much. And so that was our job, is to make sure that we were really pushing out um, emergency responder specific feedback. Interesting, okay, so you just finished this. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I, I do wanna ask, obviously, you're, you're from Central Oregon, as we discussed, wildfire's a huge thing in Oregon yeah. right now, across the, the entire West. Yeah. How, did, has, did your plans, did anything change over last year's wildfire season across the West? It did, this guidebook originally was only a preparation tool, but it also became a recovery tool as we were watching what happened in Napa and Santa Rosa and especially Paradise. Mm. I sat back with my team and I said, this is awful what's happening to them and they need something with them in real time that can help them actually go through the process of recovering emotionally, physically, and strategically. And so we created an entire recovery chapter here so that if everything goes wrong, you actually have a resource right in your hands that can help you in real time recover. 
Interesting. Okay, and, and I, I cut you off because I wanted to get the commercial in. Uh, you, you were referencing the action plan. Like, yes. Obviously, there are many different disasters that could happen. There are. These action plans come in the box, and they cover every single disaster in the United States so that no matter where you travel or where you live, it covers you. And it walks you through in real time what you need to do, and then in the ev after the event, it can walk you through what to do inside and outside of your home to make sure that you're maintaining a safe unit. Okay, very good. And I, I think we can speak for everybody when we say it's it's important to be prepared no matter how you do it. Yeah. It's, it's certainly something, I know I have three little kids, it's something, you know, you're not just thinking about yourself quite often. So yeah. I appreciate you taking the time. Great Thank to meet you. Thank you so much. Nice All to right. meet you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.